Hi everyone, this is Michelle here at My Everyday Wife Life. I hope you're enjoying your day. And I have a little shopping haul to show you. So I have a little shopping haul. And I have to say, I'm really terrible at these little shopping haul. I know everyone likes them, so I've been trying to post some. I like watching them, but this stuff I've had for a couple weeks, and it's just sitting here on the table. I'm not even been using it because I'm waiting to film it. Yeah. So, I don't know. It seems like, okay, I go shopping for, and then I am just too tired by the time I get home to film this. Anyhow. Let me just get started. So a couple weeks ago, I bought a few things. And actually, I bought some of that stuff yesterday. So that is good. So um, I went to Walmart. And of course, I had to get some kind of Pioneer Woman thing. So I got the... And actually, my Walmart didn't have very much. I haven't been back since. Um, yeah, they were all out of a lot of things. So I just got this little butter dish. I thought it was so cute. And like it was only like like $5.36. I thought that was fabulous. That was really good. And on another day I picked up um, these little measuring cups. But um, I'm not going to use them as measuring cups. And I'll have to say the little, um, the measuring the words on here, as this one is a quarter cup, is not very good. It's like like rubbing off. I mean, it was like that when I opened it up, but I'm not using it for measuring cups anyway. Mostly, I probably will be using this cup, and I'm trying to use this for um, portion control. So um, I was putting my yogurt um, mixture that I have in the morning. Uh, in like a cereal bowl. Yeah, I'm putting way too much in there. So I put some yogurt bit in here, some strawberries, and then some granola on top. And then, you know, of course it's heaped just a little bit. But it's around a cup. So then I have a good portion control. And, um, I mean, and I could use that for something else. And I like to, like, use these for to put, um, or this to put blueberries in while I'm sitting at my desk um, doing some work. And I can munch on those. Is a good thing to put chocolate chips in as a little treat while I'm sitting at um, you know paying bills and things like that. So those are cute and actually I think we can go back and pick up another set. So that's that. And then let's see and then I also got the this little harvest sign at um Walmart. I thought that was cute. I think I'm gonna hang that outside. Turkey on it, so I don't know if I'm gonna hang it now or just wait till around um, Thanksgiving time to do that. I do have a few little tiny little like figurines and stuff like salt and pepper shakers that are Thanksgiving that I will be putting out in November. And what else? I got the little mason jar um, toppers that you could put a straw in, but then I realized I do not have mason jars that this fits on. I buy the wide mouth mason jars. I really like the wide mouth mason jars, but of course that's to store my food in. So um, I'll go to the store and just pick up a, a set of four just so I could use that for drinks. And of course I had to have the little potato masher. I thought that was nice and I don't have one. And I need a new knife anyway, so I went ahead and picked up the Pioneer Woman uh, this knife. So that's that. And then I went to Hobby Lobby. I had to go to my doctor's and uh, it's way up at the other and two, like two, three times over. Takes like eh, about 40, 40 minutes to get there from here and there's tons of shopping there. That's where Hobby Lobby is, World Market, um, I don't even, a bunch of stores. So I went to Hobby Lobby. And I've been looking for a teapot for a really long time. And I thought this was fabulous because, oh my god, if you can see, it kind of matches my table runner. 
or like this napkin. Oh my God, it's the same exact colors. I mean, this is a more, a little more cutesy pattern or this is like a little more fancy pattern, but I can't believe that it matches. It, ma it matches good. I think it matches. Anyway, so um, they did have coffee mugs to go with this, but I thought that was too much. The, too much pattern. I think I want to get like a cream colored um, coffee mug to go with that. Just plain. And I had to pick up the plates. They're so cute. They're just little, um, I don't know, salad plates, sandwich plates. I thought those were cute. I mean, look, they just go so well with this. Um, table runner. Oh, could you, I, wasn't even filming. I don't know. I just really like the pattern, and it is a little fallish, but um, I think I probably can keep it all out all year because, again, it goes with all the colors of my house the greens and the oranges and the reds that I have. That's pretty much my decor. Fall colors. <laughs> and then I went to um, World Market. And I picked up some of these buffet napkins. Now, since it's been a while, I do remember the price of all these things. But um, they were pretty inexpensive. And I got them to go with these. So I have some print ones and some plain ones for Thanksgiving because um, I am going to have 30 people at our house for Thanksgiving dinner, dinner this year. So um, I bought that for that. And what else did I want? And I had, I wanted to get the little, um, these little ramekins from the Piner Woman, but they didn't have any. So I found these. These are um, quite a bit smaller than the ones that uh, Piner Woman sells, but I found these at World Market and they were on sale. And so they were only like 69 cents a piece. And I thought I really liked the colors. Now I'm wishing I had bought more. And like the bottom of this says smidgen. And the bottom of this says pinch. I thought those were really cute. And then yesterday I went to Marshalls. And I've been looking for a uh, wire egg basket for a while. Um, I just wanted to put some fake eggs in there. But I couldn't find any at, at Michael's. So I did find these pumpkins. I just thought I'd put those in there. For now, I just kind of wanted to make my front entryway kind of look like a farm stand a little bit. It's not exactly looking how I want, but I'm still working on it. Um, and then I bought these acorns. I thought those were adorable. They're like wooden on top, and I will find a place for them, I'm sure. So I bought two of those. And I guess I could show you one other thing that I got to make since I was talking about making my entryway look like a farm stand. Uh, probably, I don't know, me and my husband went to Michael's the other week and um, I bought this. I really liked it. I kind of wanted to do like a little milk jug thing on this to, again, to make it look like a farm stand. And I bought some of these little um, milk bottles that say dairy on it. And it's just a little display like that so uh i think that's about it guys that's it for my shopping haul enjoy your day